more expensive and cost me. Laura Holidays. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy December 1st. We're officially in Vlogmas, and I just wanted to sit down really quickly and go through my Bath and Body Works haul. I went to the mall today with my daughter Ariel. We had the mission to get my stepmom a birthday gift because today is her birthday. And I was thinking that a candle, like a really nice Bath and Body Works candle would be awesome. Um, I typically don't buy my candles there because they are on the pricier side. But I hit the jackpot because today was a really great sale at the store where each candle with three wicks was $8.95 so they say it's their biggest sale of the year for that type of candle so I don't know how accurate or not that is because I don't really shop there that often but I was thrilled to save basically buy three candles for the price of one um, so I got a few I stocked up and I think these are awesome gifts like I already have a few people in mind that I can give these candles to and feel good about it because I really am trying not to spend a ton of money this holiday season so a really nice gift this candle good product i feel good about it so um yeah i i bought a lot of stuff so let me just show you really quickly which which scents i picked out okay so i bought eight candles six are right here and then um two were wrapped up individually i actually bought three of the same candle so i'm just going to show you these six right now so i don't really light a lot of candles in my house i'm pretty sensitive to smell um <laughs> So why I bought eight candles is kind of crazy, but um, being in that store, which used to really overwhelm me, like first of all, it's filled with all these fragrances and things. So I used to be overwhelmed just by like the smell when I'd go in there, but I think my uh, allergies or sense of smell or something has changed where it is not overbearing so I think I can start including candles in my home I'll keep it posted because <laughs> you're so interested about that um but anyway I want to go through the scents that I really liked I smelled <laughs> a ton of candles because I don't you know I don't have any favorites because I don't shop there so it was like starting from scratch so I definitely had my nose in a bunch of candles today and these are the six that I decided to walk away with um most of them are really a Christmassy scent um most of them are for winter i wouldn't probably like these in summer although i do like thinking about christmas in july so you never know anyway let me just jump in instead of rambling this is a good one to start with this is called tis the season mm. okay so all the candles that were on sale today were this size with three wicks Mm. Okay, so this to me does smell like Christmas. It smells like a combination of like the classic like cranberry and cinnamony like spices and it's not overwhelming. It's not like really too strong. So that is great because a lot of times these fruitier scents like when I would normally if I'm going to look for candles I'm at TJ Maxx because they have good deals but I never walk out with any because they are too strong of a smell. So this is like definitely not too strong. Mary Mistletoe. This was the first candle I smelled in the store. It was right in the front of the display case or like the sample case. Okay so what I love about this one it definitely has like that pine tree like real Christmas tree smell. It is not too like it's not too men's aftershave smelling. It's like it's a nice scent that's not too mm, manly <laughs> I don't know how to describe it it's not too piney it's merry mistletoe like this is it smells really good so I really like this smell <laughs> merry mistletoe all right this is one that is not so much Christmas um, this is black cherry Merlot um, I saw this one and I thought of my stepmom because she's really a big wine drinker but I don't know I am um, 
I still have to think about if this is the one I'm gonna give her today. Since her birthday is December 1st, it's Christmas season, I'm not sure, like, I don't know. I'm thinking about it still. Oh, this smells so good. Black Cherry Merlot. Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh my god, I love this one. This is like not too vanilla-y. Like sometimes you know it's like overwhelming. I just, when I smell candles, it's overwhelming. This one smells really yummy. Um, and I like that it is very Christmassy in design. Vanilla Bean Noel. I love that. Okay, leaves. This one was different for me. I don't know why I was drawn to it to just pick it up because I guess it was like one of the few non-Christmassy ones in the area I was looking through. It smells good. It doesn't, like, I wouldn't like this this season because there's too many good Christmas options right now. But this is like, this would have been great for the fall. I feel like this is great for winter too. It's kind of like got that birch tree look to it. So, I don't know. This is a good, like, everyday to have candle. Like, not seasonal. Just like a good scent. Does that make sense? Okay, my last one. Marshmallow Fireside. So I'm actually kind of confused by this candle because I saw so many, so many, I saw three different um, packaging for this type of candle with the same name, Marshmallow Fireside. Um, one of them was more of a bluish, um, dark blue, like nighttime coloring. Um, this one was just white and I grabbed this one um, because this, the sign said it was made with essential oils. Not that I really, I don't know. Yeah, this says made with essential oils. So I just figured it's a little extra. That smells good. Definitely smells like campfire and marshmallows. It smells like marshmallow fireside. Mm, okay. So anyway, I um, mentioned that I bought three of one of these candles. And what I'd love to do is kind of see which one is my husband's favorite and see if we are aligned with our smells. Oh, and before I show my husband all these things, I bought this really pretty candle holder. Nice snowflakes and glittery, and I really thought this was so pretty. Um, what's cool about it is, like, if you get a candle that's not so Christmassy, you can jazz it up. But I find that their packaging is so pretty that this would be fine to have out on your counter for this time of the year because it. It's got that Christmas feel to it. But if you have a certain look or decor, like I think snowflakes are like, they can go in anyone's decor somewhere, you know? Um, I think that looks really nice. So my stepmom will get this today and then one of these candles. I actually might bring, I don't know if this is weird, but I might bring this whole thing um, and let her pick which one she likes or which one she wants to keep. But is that weird? Be like, I have six, but you only get one? I don't know. I don't think she'll be offended by that. I need to think about it. I might just pick it out for her. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what my husband thinks about these candles. Did you have a good nap on your daddy? You're nice and sweaty. Did you have a nice nap? No? Because <laughs> you had a sweaty baby on you? All right, so. We have to get going to my dad and stepmom's house to celebrate a birthday. Hi, Benny. But I thought you would smell some candles and see which one's your favorite. One of these I bought three of. Not in here. I have them hiding, so I, I want to know which one's your favorite. Okay, smell this one. Thoughts? No, I don't like it. You don't like it. He doesn't like marshmallow fireside. You want to pull this one out? They're kind of heavy. Can you take the top off? Good job. Is there Bruno? Looks like some cranberry something. Some cranberry something. Oh, it's apple. called leaves. It's definitely a fall scent. Alright, try this one. That's subtle. I like that. You sort of like this one? It's subtle. It's subtle. So this is vanilla bean Noel. Yeah. Subtle. So my kind of stuff. We like subtle in this house. Yeah. Do you like that smell, babe? No, there were only three. No, there's six of them. I bought three of the same. That's subtle, too. This is subtle as well. This is black cherry merlot. Yeah, it's subtle. 
This is subtle as well. This is the Merry Mistletoe. I like this one. Oh, definitely doesn't like that one. <laughs> he doesn't like this. Tis the season. I, are you saying ew? You don't like that one? Yeah, I agree, baby. Tis the season. Okay, so if you had to buy only one of these scents, which one's your favorite? The vanilla one. The vanilla one is his favorite, and I'll tell you which one I bought three of. Ew. <laughs> we got three of the vanilla bean Noel. So our noses are aligned. That's great. Say happy birthday! Say happy birthday! <laughs> Get out. You gotta work on not having a hunched back. I've been working all day long while people are out having fun. Can you straighten out? I don't want no, don't put me on no camera today. The one man at the table. Are you a slow eater? Well, this is a sad place. Is it done to what, 2010? Don't put me in there. Don't put me in there. You guys are the same. They don't want to be on film. Why wouldn't you want to be on film in this wonderful outfit, Diddy? I don't want to be on no social media crap. <laughs> no social media crap. Heard. It's true, this part of the year has something. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Yay, 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 yay. Let's make a wish. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! For us, we'll fall in love. Hey. Take. Walking around you and me, Christmas time's got the best of me. Then it starts to snow <laughs> in our hearts. We will know that we're falling in love. We just got home and I'm so tired. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Mama loves you. Anyway, it's December 1st. I was so tired. And my stepmom found these dog advent calendars, which I think is so cool. I never knew something like this existed, but it's awesome. It's from Trader Joe's, so it's not too late to get one for your pup. And every day you open it up and there's a tree, and I have an advent calendar for Al. Um, I have an advent calendar for Ariel too, but it's too late, so I'll just do two tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open this up for Bentley, and then we're going to call it a night. Yes. A new ball for the beach. <laughs> oh, nice treat. Let's open it up. Yummy. Thank you for watching. Say goodnight. <laughs> he just waved. We're going to go to bed and we'll catch you in the next video.